Hey guys, Eli here with MeyerBags.com and today we're in a Lexus IS and we're gonna go over how to go ahead and take apart the center console here. Right over here we have this side panel here, this cushion panel. We want to start working it from the bottom here. Just give it a nice firm pull just like that and you'll feel it come apart and then once you have this bottom part lifted then you want to pull towards yourself because there's three tabs that go in towards the center just want to give it a pull towards yourself and then you'll see these tabs come right apart these three here and those were the clips that were holding it in next go ahead and put your phillips bit right on and we're going to remove these two screws right here Once you got those two screws out, go ahead and get a good firm grip on this panel here and just pull it towards you and the clips will come right off, right down towards the side here. And the last panel is right over here. Just give it a pull on this lower half right here and then pull towards yourself. Then we're gonna do the same exact thing on the passenger side here. This bottom half here, just give it a nice firm pull towards you. Once you have the bottom lifted, then go ahead and pull just like that. Then work the bottom right over here. And then the last one is right over here. Grab it from here, give it a pull, and then pull out this way. Next, we're gonna start working on this center trim panel right here, the coffee cup holder, as well as this trim right over here. And this part comes off pretty easily. You can even do it with your hands. Get a nice firm grip inside right here or on the outside, and just give it a pull up towards. And this piece will come right off. Right over here, we have a plug. You can simply unplug it by squeezing right here in the front. Squeeze and pull. Now on this trim here, you can use your hands to get right between the creases and pull up, or you can use a little pry bar that won't cause any damage to the trim plastic. You can go right inside here and give it a nice little push just to get started. Once you have a good little start like that and the first clip comes up, you should be able to grab it and work the rest of it right up. Now, just like the other piece, you wanna go ahead and grab this plug here, squeeze, and then pull. Now, to unlock the shift knob, you're going to need a little flathead screwdriver. You wanna work right over here, lift this little plastic piece right up. Now before we go ahead and unlock the shift knob, you want to go ahead and make sure your e-brake is activated. Then go ahead and grab the flat bar, put it right in, and you'll feel it depressed down, this little button that presses down. And at the same time, you can go ahead and pull this back into neutral. Next, back to the little pry bar, we're going to start working this trim panel right up. Get right in between, especially right where the clips are right there, and just start prying up. There's two clips on this side that's holding it down. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side as well. So now that the back part has been lifted up, we wanna go ahead and move the last remaining piece holding it in, which is right over here. Basically, you wanna pull up and out on both sides so they both come out at the same time. Just like that. And it's also being held down right over here to the little gearbox here, right here into there. Now the reason we went ahead and pulled that back is so we can get nice clear access to these bolts right here. This is a 10 millimeter bolt, and this is just one of six that we need to go ahead and remove in order for the whole center console to come right up. Now back to the 10 millimeter, go ahead and put it on. And we're gonna go ahead and attack that first bolt right in there. The second one is on the passenger side right here. 
Now the third and fourth one are going to be right in the middle. So if we go ahead and put this sideways, you're going to see them right over here. There's the third one right here. And the fourth one on this side. So just grab your little pry bar, get right underneath, and start pulling on the back side here. Just like that. Once the first clip comes off, the rest will follow. This will come off. And then right in there, we have our last two bolts that are holding down the center console. Now at this point, we can just simply lift up the back of the center console and the module will be in plain sight right there. If your car was in an accident and you've been told that the module needs to be replaced, that there's no way that it can be reused again. Here at myairbags.com, we can actually reset your original module, the one that was in the car during the accident. We can clear all hard codes and soft codes. That way you don't have to buy expensive replacement parts at the dealership. Body shops and collision shops all around the US have been using myairbags.com for years now because they save on each individual part. Hey guys, if you're sitting there with a question in mind, go to myairbags.com and click on help. On there, you can type in a keyword or a question and most likely the right answer will pop up right for you. If it doesn't, we're always here on the phones. You can email us, chat with us, or you can even just text us. We're always here to help you, myairbags.com. Now's the time to give us a big like, subscribe to our channel. We have more videos just like this. Comment, I really enjoy reading your comments. This is Eli with myairbags.com. Save time and money on your next project. Thank you.